Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem sum and product which is a part of the current contest of code forces round 8-9. In this question, we will be given an array A of length n and we will be given Q queries and every query contains X and Y. And we need to find the number of pairs such that AI plus AJ should equal to S and AI dot AJ should equal to Y. We simply means that we will be given 2 integer x and y. We count the number of pairs such that the sum of that 2 integers should equal to x and the multiplication should equal to 1. So, for like uh, if the given array is 1, 3, 2 and uh, the query is asking for x equal to 3 and y equal to 2, so that means that we need to find the number of pairs i and j such that ai plus aj should equal to 3 and ai dot aj should equal to 2 so if you see for 1 and 3 so 1 plus 3 that is 4 and 1 multiplication with 3 that is 3 so that is not true for this for 3 and 2 some will be 5 and multiplication will be 6 that is also not true 1 and 2 some will be 3 and multiplication will be 2 so that is true for this one so answer for this one will be 1 the only one pair satisfies this condition that is uh, 1 and 2 these are number and if we consider indexes so that will be 1 and 3 first element and third element so now for it for this one we are going to use a simple mathematical expression that if we are going if we are, we are giving a plus b and a b then how can we find a and b so for that there is a simple mathematical expression that a plus b ka whole square plus the whole square of a minus b will be equal to 4ab why use a square plus b square plus 2ab plus a square plus b square okay sorry this is minus this is minus minus 2ab so that is equal to 4ab so we will we will use this expression here that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square that will be equal to 4ab so a minus b whole square that will be equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab so now a plus b is given to us ab is given to us we can calculate the value of a minus b now if we have the value of a plus b and a minus b then let's let's call it x let's call it z so value of a will be x plus z by 2 value of b will be uh, x minus z by 2 so now we have the numbers we satisfy the given condition x and y so the only task is that find out the how many numbers we can make from the given array like uh, if we have a and b then we will count the how many numbers are there which are equal to a how many numbers are there which are equal to b so just suppose that we are getting a equal to 3 and b equal to 4 then we will check that in our given array how many 3's are there frequency of 3 and how many 4's are there and our final answer will be the multiplication of these two because we can make pairs from any 3 to any 4 from any 3 to any 4 ok but uh, there is a edge case that what if the uh, a is equal to b then frequency obviously frequency of a will be equal to frequency of b so in that case our answer will be frequency of a multiplied with frequency of a okay, a minus 1 by 2 why go just consider that 2 2 2 2 okay value of a is 2 and value of b is 2 so now if you want to make the pairs from these so that will be this one with these three this one with these two this one with this one so that is obviously that is equal to 4 into 3 by 2 so uh, let's jump to the code that first of all i'm going to uh, take the input and this is calculate the frequency of every element then for every query this is the sum this is the multiplication 
then this is the value of a minus b that will be x square minus 4 into y so now if a minus b this is the value of a whole square of a minus b what is j j is equal to a minus b whole square of a minus b now if that is less than 0 that means uh, we are not going to calculate that will be identical so in that case we are going to print 0 otherwise we are going to calculate the square root of this z so that will be a minus b now if that is not a perfect square so in that case also we are going to print 0 now if our a will be x plus sq by 2 and b will be the difference by 2 now if a plus b is not equal to x and or if a minus b is not equal to sq in that case also we are going to print 0 why because this also can be possible that x plus sq is an odd number in that case we are going not going to find the actual value of a so in that case also we are going to print 0 otherwise if the any number is like this can be handled here also but uh, like i put it out of this condition that if the frequency of n number is 0 that in that case also we are going to print 0 and otherwise if the number are same then the final answer will be the multiplication of frequency into frequency minus 1 by 2 and if number are different then the answer will be the multiplication of first number multiplied with multiplication of second number so that will be the our final answer so you will get the code in the description uh, see you in the next problem till then have a good day bye bye